Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a magic book review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is Friday. That's right, it's Friday. And that means it's time to review a magic book. On Mondays, I review a deck of cards. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I review the latest and the greatest magic tricks that are hitting the shelves. And on Friday, I try to review a magic book. Why? Because magic books are awesome. Magic books are where the secrets are. I'm, I'm just as guilty. I am just as guilty. I'll buy the latest trick deck. I'll buy the latest does it all for you gimmick that makes you look like a super magician, but all you have to do is push a button, right? I do it. I do it. I admit it. But but if you really want to excel in magic, if you really want to get ahead, if you really want to learn those tricks that not everybody is doing, get books, get magic books, build a magic library, start to buy books that are written by some of your favorite magicians. Case in point today, got another one from Benjamin Earl. Benjamin Earl easily, easily. Can I just, can I just make this movement hands down? Huh? Huh? Hands down, one of the best card men today. Easily. Ben Earl. Today, we're going to look at his new book, Inside Out. All right, Inside Out, brought to you from Studio52Magic.com. Ben and his company were gracious enough to send me a copy so that I could review this for you. This is a hardback book, 120 pages, about the same size as Less is More. So if you have Less is More, or if you have his uh, first, second, and third volumes of The Shift, about the same size as that, um, but much different look. White cover, black text. His other books are gray and black. This one's white. Uh, and it's got very whimsical drawings all throughout. Kind of creates this dreamlike or kind of spiritual, who knows what might kind of happen, Alice in Wonderland feel to it. Uh, and there are photographs, photographs too. So lots of pictures layout wise graphic design wise, it's beautiful, but there's something really interesting about this book. Ben decided not to write this book as like your standard magic book. Right? Standard layout for a magic book would be title of trick, right? And then a two sentence byline, like this is a sandwich trick, get out a deck of cards. And then maybe a brief overview of what the spectator sees, right? Just three or four sentences telling you how the trick's going to go. And then they start blocking it down like set up, uh, this is what you're gonna do for presentation, here's a patter, here's some notes and some crediting. This book is not written like that at all. This book reads more like a novel. Yeah, so every single one of these tricks reads like a story. So let's say you're at the performance and you're watching Ben Earl do these tricks for the spectator. He writes it as if you're standing there and he italicizes all the dialogue. And it's almost like you have Ben Earl like in your brain talking to you about the trick as he's do doing the trick. So it's really presented in a much more creative, very interesting kind of pull you in style. It's not one of those methodical, here's a move, here's a move, here's a move, control the card to the top kind of books. It's, sometimes that writing is good when you're studying, but not necessarily while you're, you know, <laughs> laying in bed, kind of like, eh, just, you know, fall asleep. Uh, this doesn't read like a textbook. This reads like a story. What is the premise for Inside Out? Why did Ben write this book? Uh, this book is filled with 14 effects, uh, and some essays too, that are designed to create something a little bit more experiential. Not just for your spectator though. Some of these tricks, a lot of these tricks, kind of have like an alternate way the trick could go that you don't know yet until the trick pulls you through it, right? So there's an element of wonder in these tricks. Yes, for the spectator. Yes, they'll, they'll experience something, but I think also for you. That's exciting. All right, let's look at the table of contents. First up is Let's Play Triumph. This is a reimagined Triumph trick that's not presented as a trick, which is how we usually do it. This is presented more like a game a game your spectator is invited to play. The next one is probably impossible. This is a sandwich trick, 
but it introduces some genuine randomness and some very clever misdirection to create a perfect miracle that happens right inside your spectator's hands. Lucky deal is also another trick that happens in the hands of your spectator, and it's a demonstration of skill and control, but they do it. Then comes the vanishing. This is a blow you out of the water coin vanish. It's not even a slight. It's not even a move. It's an unforgettable trick. Then comes the unreal transposition. This is a transpo effect, but interestingly enough, it only takes place inside your spectator's mind. Hidden ambition is a very simple, very clean, ambitious card routine that doesn't look like your typical ambitious card trick. Portal is a transformation effect. Mr. Invisible is an impromptu invisible deck routine. Yes, I said it, impromptu invisible deck routine. Then comes Why Me? This is the prediction that you can make of any freely named card. Restoring the past is Ben's take on the torn and restored plot. A universal presentation, this is an essay. This is how you can give some uniqueness and some style, add some of that into any effect. The gift, this is one lone trick that you do for one lone spectator and you do this on their birthday. Next up is the secret. Can you keep a secret? Here's where you're gonna show somebody a trick and then you're gonna pretend to let them know how it's done. But then you're secretly gonna blow their mind again. Conjuring with wonder, this is an homage to David Blaine, David Copperfield, and Darren Brown. Then he's gonna do two more kind of like essays or Benjamin Earl's thoughts in the back of this. Uh, there's a chapter on the crisscross force and there's another chapter on the French drop. Both will have you looking at these two just worn, right? Worn classics with brand new eyes. And I would just say, if you're already familiar with Ben Earl's magic, or uh, his style, or you have some of his books already, I think this is certainly one you're gonna want to add to your collection. Uh, like I said, creatively written, really cool drawings, very interesting kind of pull you in magic tricks. All right, so that's everything I can say about Inside Out. Make sure you pick this book up at studio52magic.com. And now, as Ben Earl would say, stop watching YouTube, go outside and make some magic happen. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. But wait, are you not getting enough magic orthodoxy in your life? Not getting enough of your very favorite magic reviews? Good news, you can join this channel. That's right, you can join Magic Orthodoxy for only $1.99 a month. $1.99 gives you access to eight brand new videos every single month. Eight, eight new videos that are unseen by the rest of the world. You will have exclusive access to them. Plus, if you join right now for a buck 99, you'll get access to over a hundred videos that are already in the membership section. That's right, a hundred videos. What kind of content? Even more magic videos, top 10 lists, best of the year, head to head magic tricks, and my exclusive thoughts on performance and theory. Two extra videos every single week, $1.99. Just scroll down to where it says Magic Orthodoxy. There's a button next to it that says Join. Click the Join button and it'll walk you through a series of menus that'll hook you up and get you access today.